Welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And today we're going to do another real world test of the Panasonic FC1002. Now I know what you're thinking, what kind of real world test you're doing this time? Well, I'm going to a ribbon cutting of a local business open in the community. I know what you're thinking, oh, that's boring, that's not exciting and true. But guess what? Ribbon cuttings and things like that, if you're a freelance photographer, it pays the bills, and that's why you back cameras sometimes. How do they do in the real world? Yes, it'd be nice if I had some beautiful ladies to take pictures of, but I don't. But a friend of ours have an open house, and I went to the open house to take some pictures, you know, to help out the community, and test to see how this camera really does in the real world. But like I said, these are events, ribbon cuttings, birthday parties, they're not exciting, but if you get that kind of work, they can pay the bills. So, that being said, I'll see you on the other side. Is there a particular dish that you're especially proud of that you encourage people to come try? We are especially proud of our wings. We have them in six or seven different flavors. Um, I'm going, we're going to be giving out some samples for you guys as we cut the, after we cut the ribbon. You guys try them. Um, we do a special of the day. We go on Facebook and put the post up every day. Um, we do everything from stew beef and rice to salmon patties to chitlins. Every day is something different, but you know, come try it. Give it a try. We got some good soul food, and then we have our regular menu with wings, fish sandwiches are astronomical, the pork chop sandwiches. You know, we got a lot going on over here. A lot of different desserts. And those desserts. And desserts. And desserts. I can personally vouch for the fish. I order fish at a lot of different restaurants whenever I'm in town. This place was yeah. really good. Yeah, they made it So come out, check it out. Now, uh, we're about to cut the ribbon. Uh, she'll give you the countdown, and then on the count of three, go ahead and slice it up. I want to help. I'm going Watch your fingers in between. I know, right? At least we got the law here. You can't see Tell me, how's the, uh, how's the wings? The wings are wonderful. And I was here earlier and had the salmon patties and they were, man, everything here is just is wonderful. This is a beautiful restaurant. Oh, before you take a bite out of nothing, how are the wings? They're great. The wings are great. This lemon, is it lemon, pepper, and buffalo is my favorite. Hey, it's us. Hello. <laughs> I've got one of your sons in the car. Hey, George. That's Mr. Yeah, I met him. And this gentleman came last time. Remember the coach in baseball? Yeah. FC 1002 passed the test, at least passed your test. Because yes, I know it was a ribbon cutting, but 
if you're involved, if that's your business, you're putting a lot of effort into it. It's a major milestone, so it's more than just the ribbon cutting. So you want to make sure the camera you take out to photograph that ribbon cutting and get the job done. You know, are the pictures sharp or they in focus? How do they look? Because you know, that way, if you do a good job, that person might recommend you to someone else and then they recommend you to someone else. Yes, it's not taking pictures of beautiful women, but in the real world, things like ribbon cuttings, birthday parties, you know, a business opening, that can be your bread and butter. That can pay your bills. Fortunately, I'm retired, so I can just do it for enjoyment. But if you work and got a family support, you know, you want to make sure the camera you get can help you pay the bills, and help you be recommended to someone else. Now, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, don't forget to go down the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe icon. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. That motivates me to go out and do more video. If you don't like what you see, it's fine to leave a thumbs down, but just tell me why you don't like it. That way I can work on it, and maybe you'll like it the next time. Because I've said it before, and I will continue to say it, no one knows it all when it comes to photography. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And if you're curious, when I'm shooting this uh, stand-up on, I'm sh shooting it on the Panasonic FC300, which is also a pretty good camera. But this one has a little bit bigger sensor, a little bit better in low light. But that's a trade-off. FC300 is weather sealed, so when it's raining and things like that, I can take it out. But if I'm out at night, you know I like to go out at night, I can take this one out. But you know, I also have two other cameras. I have a Fuji and a Olympus, actually, and a Sony video camera. So I'm going to be doing those. I'll, I'll be testing those, too. None of them are really brand new, but if you like me, you don't buy a camera that often. So you might want to know if the one you bought last year, two years ago, or five years ago, it still can do the job. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So with that being said, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.